What is going on, people? This is Medicosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we continue our comparisons playlist. Let's compare between the action potential and the local response. With that said, now let's get started. If you want the detailed explanation, check out my nerve physiology series in my physiology playlist. As you know, during rest, the inside of the membrane is more negative. Upon activation or depolarization, sodium enters. Sodium is positive, and the inside will become more positive. Membrane electricity. During rest, it's called the resting membrane potential. Upon stimulation, well, it depends. If you treat me with respect and giving me a robust threshold, I'll give you an action potential. But if you treat me with less respect, I'll treat you with less respect. And that's the local response. Where is the threshold here? Oh, so if you give me a stimulus to push me up here, I will give you a robust action potential. But if you give me half a threshold, I will not give you an action potential at all. It's called the all or none law. During rest, potassium is leaving. Upon depolarization, sodium is entering. And then during repolarization, you stop the sodium entry and you start potassium efflux. Potassium will go out and you will overshoot, that's the hyperpolarization. The inward rectified potassium channels will bring some potassium in and now you are back at baseline. So let's talk about the local response. It's the effect of the sub-threshold stimulus, not threshold, sub-threshold. Does that produce an action potential? Heck no. It's the all or none law. And these are the non-propagated potential. It could be electrotonic potentials such as cat electrotonus and an electrotonus, or it could be the local response. Local response. What kind of stimulus is that? Threshold? No, sub-threshold. Threshold will give you an action potential, but sub-threshold will give you a local response. It does not obey the all or none law. There is no absolute refractory period. It's not propagated and not all of the sodium chains are open upon depolarization. So there you go, action potential versus local response. Definition, it's a state of complete depolarization. This is partial depolarization. It's followed by repolarization. This is followed by rapid repolarization. Action potential has reached the firing level, but local response is below the firing level. What kind of stimulus? Threshold, sub-threshold. If you treat me with respect, I'll treat you with respect. If you treat me with no respect, I'll treat you with no respect. Action potential is propagated. Local response, not propagated. Action potential obeys the all or none law. Local response does not. Action potential cannot be graded. You know why? Because it obeys the all or none law. It's either the zero or the one. If you give me less than a threshold, I'll give you zero. Nothing. If you give me a threshold, I'll give you one. Can you give me one and a half? Shut up. It's either zero or one. I cannot be graded. The local response can be graded because it did not obey the all or none law. Absolute refractory period exists and that's why action potential cannot be summated. Local response, no absolute refractory period, therefore it can be summated. What is summation? Summation is basically when you increase the number of stimuli that you give me, stimulus, 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 stimulus. This will increase the magnitude of the local response, but this will not happen action potential because there is an absolute refractory period. You have to wait. During the action potential, all of your sodium channels are open, but in a local response, not all of them. Anesthesia will destroy your action potential. The excitability in the action potential is going to increase and increase and increase up to the firing level and then refractory period. But local response, it keeps increasing while you move towards the firing level. So the action potential has four A's. It obeys the all or none law. It has an absolute refractory period. All of your sodium chains are open and it's blocked by anesthesia. Again, more detailed explanation is available in my physiology playlist. If you like this video, you will like my CNS pharmacology course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. I also have an Utacoids pharmacology course talking about serotonin, histamine, treatment of peptic ulcer disease, etc. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.